Hi, and welcome to the Rotrex video tutorials. I'm Ben, and today we're going to talk about compressor maps. Compressor maps are an essential tool to choosing the right size supercharger and getting the best efficiency out of your supercharger setup. A compressor map is basically a diagram showing how much pressure ratio and airflow you're going to get for any given speed. On the x-axis you're going to have mass airflow. We measure it in kilograms per second. And on the y-axis you're going to have your pressure ratio. Now it's important to note that pressure ratio isn't the same as boost pressure. The pressure ratio is basically the outlet pressure divided by the inlet pressure, all measured in atmospheric pressures. So let's say you have two bars atmospheric at the outlet and one bar atmospheric at the inlet, you have a pressure ratio of two. So keep in mind that any pressure loss you have on the inlet will be multiplied by the pressure ratio and will be a loss in boost pressure. The third element in our compressor maps is the constant speed lines, denoted here by 90k, 80k and so on. The speed lines tell you basically the, the ratio between the pressure ratio and the airflow. So you can either move not very much air and get a lot of pressure ratio, or you can move a lot of air and not get very much pressure ratio. Now even though the compressor can make a lot of pressure, not very much flow, or a lot of flow and not very much pressure, we really want to be in the sweet spot. And why? Efficiencies. Now the efficiencies are shown in the diagram by these islands. The efficiency is basically a note of how efficiently the compressor or the supercharger compresses the air. So as you can see, the highest efficiencies go up through the middle of the speed lines. Now why do we want to be at this high efficiency zone? Well basically, high efficiencies mean lower air outlet temperatures, which means you can reduce intercooling or you can add timing. Additionally, you're going to have less power consumption. So all in all, you're going to get more bang for your buck. So how do you know what speed the supercharger is running? Well, we've got a calculator on the website, but basically it's the engine speed multiplied by the pulley ratio multiplied by the supercharger gear ratio. That was the basics of how to read a compressor map. Now if you've got a good match, you're going to have basically a curve going straight up through the middle of the map, just like this. Now if you want to learn how to actually use the compressor map to find the right supercharger for your application, go follow us on YouTube and keep your eyes peeled.